Buffalo Bookquesters is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I introduce you to this almighty books. The Rain Dragon Rescue, the Imaginary Retreat Book 3 by Susan Selfors. The Order of the Unicorn, the Imaginary Retreat Book 4 by Susan Selfors 2. These two books are the, are the two books in the series. And this one, so let's go into the Rain Dragon Rescue first. As always, it's about Pearl Petal and Ben Silverstein. And they, as last time, as the, in the book, in the book one and two suggest, suggest, find out that, that the warm hospital that opened up in the old Buttonville factory wasn't a warm hospital at all. It was a hospital for curing imaginary creatures. And this is a quite exciting thing, isn't it? And Ben Silverstein and and um Pearl Petal are are made apprentices of Dr. Wu, uh, the a veterinary a veterinarian for imaginary creatures. And the Rain Dragon Rescue, someone or something is stealing things from the freak from Buttonville. And who is that? Well, it's not a who, it's an it! It's a dragon! Not a rain dragon, as the title suggests, a normal dragon. But this dragon is actually, um, quite a scaredy cat. I mean, a scaredy dragon. And it's scared of everything, but it can put on a big, mean face, growl at you, and make you feel scared, obviously. And this guy is pretty much a scaredy cat and quite young, actually, under Dr. Wu's care. And he needed scrap metal to make a nest because he uses, he gets scrap metal, burns them, and makes a beautiful round nest. But Dr. Wu had forgot to supply it with some scrap metal. So this is the reason why the ra the dragon had to steal some metal. And soon there is an emergency. The uh, rain the rain dragon is dying, and it had been it had been um somehow um its its horn had been cut off and it was in deep pain. So Pearl Petal and Ben Silverstein uses the mysterious portal that you have to ride. That, that is a tornado that you ride to go to the imaginary world where all fantastical and mythical creatures live. There they, they cure the beautiful rain dragon. And the book ends with a happy Ben Silverstein and Pearl Petal getting certificates for rain, um, rescuing a rain dragon, I think. And that's number one. And that's number three. The Imaginary Veterinary Book for The Order of the Unicorn. In this book, as always, Ben Silverstein and Pearl Petal are the main characters. As I have explained earlier, the, they, they know that the worm hospital is not a worm hospital at all. It's a veterinary for imaginary creatures. And this time, the, uh, a uh, unicorn, the youngest unicorn, actually the the princess of the unicorn king himself has gone missing in the dark forest. And inside there, and there are very evil things lurking inside. And Maximus Steel, the evil, <coughs> I'm sorry, horn collector, who was the one in the Rain Dragon Rescue to cut off the beautiful Rain Dragon's horn to sell it for cash? Ha, uh, is suspected of this of this very evil of this very evil act, and they know they must rescue the unicorn fall quickly, or 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 risk a bad thing happening. So Pearl Petal. Uh, and Bell Silverstein, uh, I mean only Pearl Petal, goes inside the, the dark forest, but um, rescues a unicorn fowl, and they both get certificates for that. 
and the book ends with both of them very happy. But, but the the very very kind of evil, like I'm guessing, but not really evil person who wants to get in to the imaginary veterinary veterinary ha ha now has a worm that looks sick. So it's going. It's gonna have to. There, he, she, uh, she, Mulberry, Mrs. Mulberry, is gonna force Mel, Doctor Wu, to look at her and uh, look at her womb. And that's then. That's the ridiculous end of the book four. And I'm just waiting to read book five and book six. And uh, they're both great books. And let go, Angel Bookwester. I'm the Bookwester.